Linux Lite 2026 The Hidden Debian Jump Tired of bloated operating systems that turn your computer into a sluggish mess. Imagine a Linux distribution that's incredibly lightweight yet delivers all the power and features you need for everyday computing. Today, we are taking a deep dive into Linux Lite 2026 to see if it's the performance booster your system has been craving without skimping on functionality. If you are hunting for a snappy, efficient and beginner-friendly Linux experience, stick around to find out what makes this one stand out. Now, the 2026 bus, Linux Lite's evolution. Let's start with my initial impressions of Linux Lite 2026. Right out of the gate, this release feels polished and responsive. It's built on the solid foundation of Ubuntu's long-term support version, which means it's stable and gets security updates for years. What new in 2026? Based on recent updates, expect refinements like improved hardware compatibility, updated apps, and tweaks to the user interface for even better efficiency on modern and older machines alike. The hype around it seems for its reputation as a Windows alternative that's easy to switch to, no steep learning curve required. A quick history lesson. Linux Lite has been around since 2012, created by a team focused on making Linux accessible for everyone, especially those coming from Windows. It's always prioritized lightweight performance, stripping away unnecessary bloat while keeping essential tools front and center. Over the years, it's evolved from a niche option to a go-to for users who want reliability without the overhead. So who is Linux Lite 2026 really for? It's ideal for beginners dipping their toes into Linux. Folks with older hardware looking to breathe new life into their PCs. Or anyone frustrated with the resource-hungry systems like Windows 11. If your computer has modest specs, say around 1 GB of RAM and a basic processor. This distro shines. It's not for power users chasing cutting-edge features, but for everyday folks who just want things to work smoothly. Now, under the hood, Debian's enduring foundation. At its core, Linux Lite 2026 draws from Debian's through its Ubuntu base, inheriting rock-solid stability, top-notch security, and a vast, Package ecosystem. Debian's package management via APT means you can easily install software from repositories without hunting around the web. It's secure and straightforward. Updates are reliable, with long term support ensuring your system stays protected without constant reboots. The star of the show is the XFCE desktop environment. It's lightweight, customizable, and strikes a perfect balance between looks and speed. You can tweak panels, themes, and shortcuts to make it your own, all while keeping resource usage low. No flashy animations here, just efficient. No nonsense designs that feels familiar if you used Windows. So how does it stack up in resource usage? In tests on similar hardware, Linux Lite idles at around 400 MB to 600 MB of RAM, which is impressively low compared to fuller distros like standard Ubuntu, which can hit around 1 GB plus or Fedora. It's on par with other lightweights like Subuntu or Lubuntu, but adjust them out in user-friendliness. On older machines, this translates to faster boot times and smoother multitasking. Think browsing, emailing, and light editing without the lag. Now, the user experience. Daily driving the gem. So how does Linux Lite 2026 handle real-world use? For everyday tasks like web browsing with Firefox, word processing in LibreOffice, or managing files, it's a breeze. The interface is intuitive, with a start menu that's easy to navigate, and pre-installed tools cover the basics right away. 
software availability is a strong point thanks to ubuntu's repositories you have access to thousands of apps installing something like vlc for media playback or gimp for photo editing is as simple as a few clicks in the light software manager no command line wizardry needed so you can dive into the terminal if you want so what about gaming and multimedia on older hardware it's surprisingly capable for casual use steam runs fine for lighter games and with proton you can play many windows titles without issues multimedia performance is solid videos play smoothly and audio setup is plug and play for most devices on a test rig from early 2010s I streamlined HD content and ran basic games like Minecraft without hiccups. It's not a gaming beast, but it punches above its weight for budget setups. Now, the hidden gem: verdict, pros and cons. So, what makes Linux Lite 2026 stand out? Its unique selling points include an ultra lightweight footprint that revives older hardware. a welcoming interface for linux newcomers and a built-in tools like linux lite tweaks for easy system maintenance it's secure free and community driven with forums full of helpful users on the flip side it might feel too simplified for advanced linux enthusiast who crave more customization or experimental features some users note occasional hardware quirks like finky wifi on very niche setups and it lacks the polish of premium distros in area like built in ai tools compared to other debian derivatives it's not revolutionary but it focuses on simplicity sets it apart so is it truly a hidden gem the answer is absolutely if you are seeking a no fuss permanent option in a sea of complex distros it's not just another clone it's a refined take on lightweight linux that prioritizes usability now final thoughts and recommendations in late 2026 who should consider installing linux lite anyone with an aging pc windows users ready for a change or beginners wanting a general intro to linux it's perfect for home offices students or light productivity setups looking ahead Linux Lite has strong community engagement and a track record of regular updates. Expect continued support and refinements. The future looks bright for this distro as more people seek efficient alternatives. If you're intrigued, here's how to get started. Head to the official Linux Lite website, download the ISO for the latest version, create a bootable USB with the tools like Rufus, and try it live before installing. back up your data first and join the forums if you need help give it a spin you might just find your new favorite os thanks for watching if you enjoyed this hit like subscribe for more linux reviews and drop a comment have you tried linux lite what's your go to lightweight distro see you next time peace out